For me, it was really important to have a vaginal birth. I did a lot of research and just wanted to have a natural birth, trusting in my body and my hormones and how my body works. I would not have been put off having a vaginal birth if I had a discussion with somebody around my perineal tears prior to birthing. That way I would have felt more empowered, more supported and more confident. So I think if I could turn back time, I wish that I had asked for information about third and fourth degree tears, what it means to have a third or fourth degree tear in terms of recovery. And I wish that I had asked for some information about how those tears could potentially be prevented and what the risk numerically is of me having one. Um, I think if I'd had that information in hand before my birth, I would have been more prepared emotionally we know that actually fear of tearing is one of those fears women do have. By giving women knowledge and information, we actually help women to become empowered and to become active participants in their care. It's imperative for a woman to be aware that there's a chance of having a third or fourth degree tear. I think one of the greatest tragedies would be for a woman to sustain a tear like that and then to turn around and say, I didn't know that could happen to me. The incidence of third and fourth degree tears in Australia is about 3%. But in first time mums alone, it's probably more like five or 6%. You will never eliminate the risk of third and fourth degree tears, but you can certainly do things to reduce it. Women should know that a tear is a possibility and they should be able to ask their care provider any questions that they have about that but they also need to know what they can do to support their body to birth well and as intended. And if a tear does occur, they also need to know that there is support and really good quality of life on the other side of that. My advice to pregnant women regarding perineal tears would be to ask how they can be avoided, what the hospital does to support a woman's body from having tears, what a woman can do to prevent it during labour and birth, how the tearing can heal, how long it takes to heal, how it will affect your day-to-day -day routine as well as your care for your baby. The fact that we're able to make babies and birth them is quite an incredible thing. So remember that your body is really strong and that it, it recovers really well and just equip yourself with information to prepare yourself 